for full disclosure, um, you're here in town doing some work, and um, you have to stay in town this week because originally we were sl- slated to have you on our show in Detroit. Which I was really looking forward which, to. Which, I mean, we were as well because, I mean, an NFL draft in Detroit, Michigan, as the Lions are seemingly uh, a rocket ship, I wouldn't say cresting because that would mean that there's maybe no higher peak than the one that they currently have, but... It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. I, in Detroit, uh, first of all, Detroit is so cranked for the draft. They they are rolling out the red carpet. They are I mean, beautifying the city. They are everybody's going to be there. I got a, you know a son-in-law, and my my boys are going. We should go down for the draft. You know, go down and just experience it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be a great thing for the city. Detroit is a football town. At the end of the day, I mean, the Tigers, the Red Wings, the Pistons, yes, but the Lions, and you saw it last year, the frenzy around the Lions' success and that buildup to getting into the playoffs and then going into the playoffs a little deeper, I mean, we were out of our minds. And it's and I, I, I know Sheila Hamp a, a little bit, and mm-hmm. I, I said, when you guys get there, mm-hmm. It's going to be unlike anything that any of the other teams have done. Uh, it's going to overtake us because it's 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 a football city at the end of the day. Well, the, I think the roar has been restored. I think we can at least yeah, say that and, at this point in time. Uh, Campbell and, and Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes and and what Sheila has done, uh, they have really just turned that organization upside down over the last three years and. The success they had last year was, I think, a year earlier than they thought. Uh, but they are they are on a long-range plan of being one of those teams that stays good, just doesn't have a year, and then they're gone. I mean, I, that's what I see is that they are really trying to, you know, be good for five or longer years. Well, I mean, it's kind of fitting that the dra- a draft is in Detroit uh, based on what you just said, Jeff, because – the year early, I think, arrived because of how well they drafted last year. And Jameer Gibbs and Jack Campbell. and that I can still hear the people screaming about Gibbs. I can still hear them screaming, you did what? I know. I know you what? did what? And apparently they, they beat several teams to the punch on drafting him. Yeah. Th- that there were a couple others that were just like, really? okay, he's going to drop. He's going to drop because everybody's talking about Bijan Robinson, and he's going to just fall to us. And the Lions beat a ton of teams to the punch, uh, and he is just unbelievable. I, I watched. I, I I've been. I, I was at the last uh, playoff game, the Tampa Bay game, and I was watching. And they got it out to Gibbs in the flat, and this happened. He got it, and shoom, he was over here. Mm-hmm. He was ten yards. Just that quickness of speed, and the defender was waving. Gone. And he was certainly in a defensive position to get him, and then he was over there. Mm-hmm. It, it it was something, that kind of speed and quickness. So how loud was it in that building? Because that's all everyone was talking about is how crazy it was in Ford Field I, for these uh, playoff games. I, you know, it's been loud. But in the Tampa Bay game, the game we won before we went to San Francisco, mm-hmm. that last minute and a half, uh, Baker Mayfield had the ball on his 15 or something, made a completion, okay. And then he threw the interception. Was it Blades, I think? He made the interception that basically sealed it for us. When he caught it, it was like a movie. On cue, I want all 65,000 of you <laughs> to scream the word, yeah, that. And I, I was actually had my phone. And I was going, well, this will be fun. I'll put it on Mm. voice memo and just record the last two minutes audio just for me. Yeah. And when that happened, it was as if someone had cued the entire stadium to say that word, go. Yeah. And it just, you felt the roof lift. It was so, and it was, you know, you've heard people scream and, and, you know, generically and a whole bunch of that. But the one same word, Hmm. 65,000 people, (laughs) 
that happens. It's better. It was, it's probably better than the word that you used to say in unison in that stadium, right? Or yes. all those years in the Silver I've Dome. I've heard that too. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be 65,000 all at once. Yeah, yeah. Or probably 80,000. Or probably eight. Yeah, uh, for, yeah. I remember some of those uh, days it, in the Silver Dome. It was a lot Dome. of decades where that was the lead word. Which is why everybody was just sort of exhaling at the same time last year. I think it was Derek Barnes who was the one who came up with that pick because he's the one who whiffed on Dak Prescott in that Dallas Cowboy game yes. that everybody thought was the one that screwed the Lions out of their best yes. chance to get to where they eventually wound up. He atoned. He redeemed himself. Right. Totally redeem yourself. I mean, he did. He <laughs> did it. He did it. So, still there. Incredible. Still there. <laughs> That's amazing. Jeff Daniels here giving the people what they want on the Rich Eisen Show. Greatly appreciate that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.